Good day, everyone. Today is the 5th of February, 2024. It's around 2.15 or so in the afternoon. I've got a couple hours, got done with work early today, so I'm happy about that. A nice day again. So I'll continue working with the brakes, figuring out how to get fluid flowing through the system. I may or may not have a friend coming over to help me pump the brake pedal. So hopefully he will come. If not, I'll, I'll make do. So um, I'll uh, have you watch along as usual. So the first thing I'm going to try today is I'm going to use that bleeder screw that's on the master cylinder because uh, months ago when I first installed it, I know that that bleeder screw works and fluid will come through it. So I just want to prove to myself that this vacuum pump stuff actually works. So I should see fluid uh, going through there. I'm going to loosen the bleeder screw first. I just want to prove to myself that this actually will work. One of my commenters, I think it was Jeff, mentioned, and I experienced this myself, that you got to find the sweet spot with the bleeder screw because if it's too loose, it lets air into the system, but if it's too tight, then you don't have a, a way of uh, pulling fluid out. So we'll see if that works or not. So I'm going to pump it up here and see what happens. We should see fluid coming through that hose. There we go. Okay. So that does seem to work. It definitely looks like there's air in there. So I'm going to pump it for a little while here. So that's pretty cool how that works, I think. Uh, so, okay. I just wanted to prove myself that works. So it did work. I spent some time, again, using the vacuum pump here with no luck. So the next thing I'm going to try is uh, breaking a line loose. Uh, I'm either going to go there or right here. My theory is, is that if I get a line open before the caliper, I should see fluid flowing through it because uh, there isn't much between this point and the master cylinder. So that looks pretty clean after I cleaned it up with the brush and everything. I'm always worried about ruining the, the line, twisting it or something, but that one actually looks pretty clean. And this one is almost as good, so I may go for that one. haven't decided yet. We'll see if this one breaks loose easy enough. And then I'll uh, pump the brake pedal inside and see if any fluid's coming out here, as it should be. I was able to break the line loose there that goes into the caliper um, without damaging it. So I've got the camera pointing directly at it since I won't be able to see it directly. I'm going to go inside the car now and step on the brake pedal a few times. There should be some uh, fluid squirting out of there if my theory is correct. So let's see what happens. It's four pumps, five pumps. I have no idea if anything happened yet. Do I see any remnant of fluid leaking here? No, I sure don't. That's interesting. Let me try some more. Pumping some more. Huh. It sure doesn't look like anything's coming out there, does it? And yet, there should be fluid coming out of there, I would think. That's interesting. Yeah, it hasn't gone down in the reservoir either. That's interesting. So, I'm pumping the pedal. We should be pushing fluid through the system, and it should be coming out pretty easily right there. And yet, it's not. So, that's interesting. I think the next thing I'm going to do is break the line right here at this point. And uh, try this again. So hang on. Always amazes me how sometimes you have to use metric wrenches on an old car like this. I couldn't get a wrenched SAE to fit there, right? 14 comes close, so it'll do. So I'm just showing breaking this loose. Hopefully it actually comes loose. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Ah, good. It came loose. Okay, good. I always get scared on these things. I've had them break on me before. So the idea now is that we're going to try this test again. Oh, look at there. I see fluid bubbling out. That's interesting. I wonder if the uh, if there's a blockage in the actual uh, flexible hose there. Is that possible? Can those things get plugged up? Yeah, it sure looks like there's fluid wanting to drip out of there, doesn't it? 
So I'm going to go stop on the brake pedal real quick. I'm sure you'll see a stream coming out there with just one pump, but I'll give it two. Yeah, I could even hear it, I think, from inside. Now i got to look at my video, but I'm pretty sure it squirted. All right, so now I've determined that fluid is definitely getting to this point, but somewhere between that point and this point in the caliper, or even in this line here, which is uh, right where that uh, hose goes to, there ain't no fluid getting through it. So my next step here is to disconnect that, uh, that hose bracket from the caliper itself and uh, examine more closely. Judging by the wire that I see right here, these calipers look like they've never been off of this car. I mean, it's possible that some mechanic in years ago actually put them back on, uh, but I've never seen that happen usually. When a mechanic takes that stuff off, they never go back on. So this could be interesting, an archaeology expedition. I've got the safety wire off, and I've already broken loose the bolts with my, uh, my breaker bar, and like everything else I've done on this car, underneath there really hasn't been a lot of rust and corrosion which i'm so thankful for because it makes it so much easier to get things off and i guess technically what i'm doing is actually removing the entire caliper so i guess it's a good time to do that for testing purposes all right i've actually already run this test one time but i'm going to run it again just for grins and giggles the last time i tried it nothing came out of this hose so i was able to get fluid to squirt out here but not here. So all this is is the end of the uh, the uh, flexible line there, the brake line. So I'm going to go step on the brake pedal a couple times again just to run that test one more time. I did not hear anything, so I have a feeling nothing came out. Yeah, it looks like it's dry. So that tells me either this block here is, well, actually, I guess that's all one assembly, isn't it? That tells me I have no choice but to actually replace that line. And until I replace that line, I don't know if my caliper is any good. Let me switch this thing around a little bit here. So here's the caliper. I mean, it, it's all in one piece. It looks pretty and everything, but uh, I can't, I can't test it. I don't know if the pistons are going to move in it at all. I mean, I could disassemble it, but I'm getting to the point now, as old as this thing has got to be, even though it's got lots of meat on the uh, brake pads and everything, I'm tempted to just go ahead and get a replacement. I know, you know, if money were no object, then I would have already done that, but money is an object, so I'm still debating on how to proceed. I already know now, without a doubt, I suppose it's possible that steel line could be... Um, blocked i mean i guess that's possible but so i guess just to finish this test out properly and eliminate that little steel line as the culprit i will see if i can break it loose right there and run that test one more time all right i was able to actually blow through this with my mouth there was a little bit of resistance but it cleared up fairly easily pretty sure i can't blow any harder than uh, you can step on the brake pedal with the master cylinder to force fluid through it so now, just for grins and giggles, we're going to run that test one more time to see if the blockage is right there. So let me set this back up again. Okay, I'm going to go back in the car again, step on the brake pedal, see what happens. Okay, that was four pumps with the brake pedal, and I don't think I heard anything coming out. doesn't look like it let me look at the video so i thought that was pretty interesting this is the first time i've ever seen a flexible brake hose plug up i don't know if it collapsed internally i'm not sure what happened to it but it is plugged up it will not let any fluid pass through it that's not something i uh, expected to find so obviously i'll be replacing this one and i'm guessing the one on the other side the passenger side is probably in the same condition so what I'm going to do now is repeat this test on the other side. I'm, I'm going to go straight to just taking the caliper off and removing this hose and uh, see if anything is coming through it or not, because it's certainly not on this side. 
I think my hands are being forced. I think I'm gonna to have to replace these calipers. No matter what I did, I could not break that bleeder screw loose. You can see how I marred it up with vice grips trying to break it loose and that baby is like welded on there. So I'm gonna to have to replace the calipers. I've still, and of course the hoses. I'm gonna go ahead and complete my test on this side anyway, just for grins and giggles. I'm gonna break it loose right here, which is after the hose and see if anything comes through. I'm just curious if uh, it was getting fluid through on this side or both sides are blocked. Regardless, I'll replace all three hoses, the two in the front, the one in the back, and the front calipers. And I'll wait on the, the rear brakes until I see what's going on and until I get a replacement drum. If anybody has any leads on a halfway decent brake drum for the rear, I'd appreciate it. And on this side, without pumping any brakes, I see a uh, brake fluid dripping freely out of the opening there, so I don't think this hose was actually plugged up. Nevertheless, I think it's a uh, sound practice for safety reasons to just go ahead and replace them. Makes the most sense. Um, I had a hard time getting that nut loose too. I had to use vice grips on that and take this other line out of the way that was here, but that came off all right. So I have a feeling this side might have had a chance at working, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, chances are good that those pistons are probably frozen inside the uh, bores on these calipers anyway. So like I said, I'm just going to replace them, replace the hoses, do it right. And as far as the rotor goes, what I'll probably do there, I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to have it turned because I probably have to separate the, uh, the hub from the rotor before they could turn it. Although maybe not, I don't know. Or I don't even know if I want them to turn it. I might just take some sandpaper and just kind of get the rust off and let it be. We'll see. I guess I'm kind of glad my hand is being forced because now that I have this other one off on the passenger side, I noticed the rubber boots are actually broken. So this wouldn't have been good to try and use anyway. I also noticed on this side that the safety wire was not in place. So somebody has had this one off before. Who knows when, but so anyway, like I said, I'm going to be replacing. This one was not plugged up. I mean, you can see the, the fluid was definitely getting through it. Um, but I don't know why I wasn't able to... Uh, get the, the brake pedal to build up, although it was starting to build up pressure here uh, the last time I pumped it up, but that's uh, that's irrelevant at this point. Even though this brake line is probably okay, I will definitely replace it along with the other side. I kind of marred up the uh, fitting there a little bit, but it's still usable, so I'll reuse that. And this one is fine. If the uh, new caliper doesn't have it already installed, I can reuse that one, that line. And since I'm gonna have all this apart anyway, I'll pull this off, check the bearings out, repack them, do all that, and then sand down the, uh, the rotor a little bit, at least get the rust off. So that'll keep me busy tomorrow. I'm not gonna probably do too much more today. Um, and I'll, on the rear brakes, I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and replace the wheel cylinders. It doesn't make sense to not replace them at this point. Um, so I'll take all that apart tomorrow take all the springs off, all that stuff, and just buy a new uh, hardware kit along with master cell, I mean, along with wheel cylinders, and uh, keep looking for a replacement drum on the other side. So uh, that's probably gonna do it for today. So since I only had a little while anyway.